Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to share this second cookbook journal with you. I finished it up today or tonight and so uh, we'll just get started. Uh, it's the uh, Betty Crocker's Boys and Girls Cookbook. I used the same fabric tie closure of the Campbell Soup fabric. It's the vintage fabric. That I've been using in these journals so I just made a tie closure with that and I have one of the same little dolls on this closure as I did on the last one a little uh, guy here with overalls and a gingham shirt he's just so cute and I, so I kind of made him into a little charm and hung him on the closure so we'll just move that out of the way for a second or a minute and uh, go through the journal it's got the uh, this one had the blue side of the See, this is how the fabric came to me. It was uh, sewn into like, uh, sewn together. This fabric, this is Campbell Soup fabric. And this is, uh, you know, another type of Campbell Soup fabric. And it came to me sewn together right here. You can see I didn't sew that together. It was already sewn together. So, you know, I used this part on the other cookbook journal. I used this part because of the blue and the blue in the cookbook here. And I thought it went good with this. So I used the blue side on this journal. <laughs> and here it's got four signatures. Here's the back of this one. So cute. I love the look retro and it's it's a vintage cookbook. It's got some wear on it, but I did clean it and uh, I think it's just really charming. So, and I've got this uh, vintage trim here that I added to, you know, the side of the fabric here. It's white with like a yellow ribbon going through it on the front and the back. So let's just open up and get started. Um, I'll just show you, I don't know if I showed you the pages, uh, how it looks on this side. And I've got some paper clips in here too. Came out really nice. I love working with this little cookbook. Oh, let me tell you the size real quick. This one is about five and three quarter inches wide by uh, almost eight inches long. It's like halfway in between eight and three quarters and eight inches long there. So, um, but let's just get started with the flip through. So on the inside of this journal, uh, this cookbook journal, see the other one had really cool like cookbook uh, looking paper inside of it. This one was just plain white. So I used some really pretty scrapbook paper on the inside of this one that has uh, mixers, hand mixers, like vintage looking hand mixers. And then I added a recipe card pocket. You know, the same fabric is on the inside here. And in this pocket, I just had a few things. Uh, one of the mason jar cards that I had made right here, like a tag or a journaling card, a library card that I had decorated it can be a journaling card. It's got a little decoration on the back too. This says Bake to Perfection. Really cute. And it's distressed and everything. This is the one of the little index card journaling spots that I made with the cupcake here. It says From the Kitchen of and on the back it says Happiness is Homemade. So I had that right here. And so here the first page, since I had the hand mixers here, I put this scrapbook paper here. It's, um, you know, like like I said last night, if you saw that journal, each uh, signature has a cover that is double-sided cardstock, and it's uh, from my cookbook and uh, scrapbook papers that I was using. So this one has utensils on it, so it matches, kind of matches the inside page here. And then I think on all the covers I also put some kind of trim on the front and back cover let me see if that's true let me see if that's true <laughs> yes yeah, see yeah I put I just want to remember real quick I'll remind myself this is yellow rickrack here and see I've got the same yellow rickrack in here see I've got pink here so that's how it goes on both of these I believe so inside of this first cover uh, just a pocket, little side pockets that's sewn together with a recipe card that I added journaling space on the back with some paper and some red rickrack. That's the skinny like baby rickrack. And all my rickrack I've bought, uh, you know, from thrift stores. This is a little journaling card that I would cut out the, fussy cut out this, 
these uh, boys and girls here from the, this cookbook. It says extra special. She's got a little cake there. And that's on, on one of my vintage um, index cards as a journaling, you know, journaling card. So again, in this one, I've got several different recipe book pages. So here's one here. Some of the pages, uh, this is um, some craft, craft paper there. And then some of that gingham paper that I had used also in the other one with a, this one has a doily wrapped around it here on the side. And then here's a page from a cookbook with some yellow rick rack right there. This is from this cookbook right here, this pretty page with the cake and the soldiers here. It's <laughs> so cute. Isn't that adorable? And then there's one of my, all the paper clips are uh, made with, uh, are decorated with the Campbell Soup fabric, little strips. And so here's the other side of that page. And then this page has a pocket sewn on this side. So this is uh, where I did zigzag decorative stitching and zigzag to sew on this pocket. I just wanted, since you're going to see the stitching over here, I wanted it to be decorative. So that's a little recipe card pocket here, or a big pocket. And inside I have another recipe card. And I had sewn paper on the back of that too, also that can be written on. So that is right in there in this card. And there's a little, you know, finger slot there. And then here on the next page is another pocket. This is a recipe card that is sewn on here and here with some zigzag zigzag stitching and one of these pretty calendars Here it has a magnet on the back and it's from 2000 and that I just slipped in there So some of that gingham uh, stationery that went along so well with these cookbook journals and I did use wherever I, I needed to join pages or strengthened pages because these all are old you know cookbook pages and other different papers i did strengthen them with some washi wherever they needed strengthening so you'll see that here and there throughout this journal uh, this is some of the this is the middle of the first signature where i have some of that double-sided pretty cardstock here and this on this uh, these strings i have a little one of the i use the tiny buttons again here in this journal so there's one of the tiny buttons, and this is a little hand mixer here, a hand mixer charm. So that's on that string, and then so we're in the, and these are fold outs here. So then as we go, see so here's some where I did some strengthening with the washi here. And so the back half of the first signature, as you can see, more pretty pages. Look at this one, really pretty colors. This is all from this cookbook and it's such pretty colors. So we'll just flip through the back half here. This is really neat paper, this journal. It's, it was an old cookbook journal and it was called cook, you know, recipe journal. But here's the back of the first signature and the beginning of the next signature with this pretty paper. Some this is the bigger Rick Rack and it's a pink as you can see. And then inside here is a pocket. This is a little, um, I have a couple little items here to decorate this pocket. Let me show you up close. It's a classy and fabulous right here, little strip. And then here's a spatula and a little, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> a little scraper. And then uh, this is a little uh, hearts, uh, kind of, it was a punch out or a sticker from the scrapbook. Uh, kits that I was using and it says bless your heart so cute <laughs> and it's very retro looking so like look at this how pretty this paper is it's got ovens uh, here to decorate <laughs> that page another one of my uh, mason jar tags there this is a postcard from my little golden book postcards two days a new day so cute and then this is one of my little bags that I made with a tag in it. So this was made from the basket liner, the red and white gingham with a little sticker here, which was a canning label. Has lines that you can write something on and this little tag is in there. So cute. That was right here. Okay, and as we go flip through here, just more recipe, you know, writing pages, the pretty gingham paper. 
and you can see the paper clips as we flip through too. This is another pretty cool, you know, a really cool page actually from the Reader's Digest magazine where this is advertising Miracle Margarine by Kraft. So cool, right? <laughs> I love those advertisements. And then more pages from this book. So cute. Uh, this was an advertisement. Let me see what this is from. This is was in the other cookbook. This is a page from the other cookbook that I finished and I, you know, did the video last night. That one had an advertisement for this baking powder in the back of it. So cool. So I put it in here. So that was neat to put a page from that cookbook in this one. So because I put pages also from this book cookbook in the other one. So that was fun. This is a nice uh, writing spot here from the scrapbook cookbook kit that I had picked up. And so that's right here. And it says, you know, it says love here with a with a spoon, like a cooking spoon or a stirring spoon. And then right here, recipe four from the kitchen of. And then you can see I put some of the pink rick rack right there. Oh, this was the middle of the signature. I have the two little buttons on this on the strings here. So and then we're so we'll be on the back half of the first of the second signature. Pretty page from this book. This is the other half of the Reader's Digest magazine page. This is an advertisement for Webster's Dictionary. So cool. I love this little girl here with her mixer. She's making some uh, Betty Crocker. She looks like Betty Crocker cake mix or something there. So cute. And then here is a recipe card that I just washied on here as a little flip up. And then just some more cool pages. And so this is the back half. Nope, we're not on the back half yet. This is just a pocket here. This is the double pocket I had made from a flash card and a journaling card. It's sewn on and it's got the rig you know, red Rick Rack, the baby Rick Rack there. Uh, this was a divided card that I decorated with a piece from this cookbook and some, just some trim that I had cut off of a cloth napkin that I had in my stash. So that was tucked in there. And then this is a journaling card. This guy is uh, smelling his green beans. So I thought that was cool to put in here. <laughs> and this is that gingham paper. So here is the back uh, page, I believe, with the pink rick rack and one of the little booklets for this journal that is made from recipe cards. Some of the Campbell Soup fabric there and then coffee dyed paper. It's all sewn together. So that is in that pocket. Then the third signature, baby rick rack here. And this is um, one of the plastic pockets that I had actually uh, got along with some with a cookbook journal that I had I or these were separate actually in, at an antique store that's where I got these I bought the, these were at an antique store they are from a cookbook like uh, you know one of the little cookbooks a binder cookbook and I don't know if the one that they came from was was there or not but I didn't I just got picked up these that day I just remember that day and uh, so I had cut it in half. It was a two pocket page. I cut it in half, put one pocket in the other journal, and put one pocket here. So it's sewn in and at this pocket, this recipe card actually came in the pockets. So I left that in there. So it's sewn on here. And when I cut them apart, uh, the other one stayed together, but this one came apart on the side. So I just sewed it back together right here. So that was uh, kind of neat. It worked out well. And then just some more cookbook pages, some of the gingham paper. Uh, this is gingham paper here, and this is gingham stationery. <laughs> so many cute pages from this book here. So many cute images on that, those, those pages. This is the recipe scrapbook kit page. And just more. Uh, recipe book pages. This is a pocket here where I have just put the pocket on this page and there's a little journaling card in here. I'm not going to pull it out right now but there is a journaling card tucked in there. And then this is the middle of the third signature where I have little buttons again right here on the strings. Two pockets and this one is uh, put together with a ribbon through the little, see the little holes here? I just ran a ribbon through this one to hold it together. And yeah, 
And then this is a milk jug that I made from when I was making my mason jars. I made some of these. So cute. There's the other side. And then this was a drawing card that I had made from a card that I got in Happy Mail. And then I made some little mini mason jars too. This one has writing space on the back. So there. And on this pocket over here, this one also, this one has the mason jar card where I had kept it together. And so it made a card, Happiness is Homemade. A little Valentine card that I received from, and that can be written on the back from Jovi. And a cupcake card from Sherry, where I cut up a piece of her uh, cardstock that she sent me. This side is sewn on, see, and this side is held together with this ribbon right here. So, just something different. Uh, okay, on the other side of this, I also have a double pocket here, uh, where this was a piece of the cardstock, and this is a little, like, drawing card that I put here. It says notes, and just love the colors together there. So, I made a double pocket. This is a little file folder. So that was tucked right in here in the back pocket. And this is a little another a cupcake tag. See, these were drilling cards. This was a drilling card. This was a little tag from that cupcake paper or cardstock. Sun Baby Rick Rack. There's some more pretty pages here. Back half of this uh, third signature. Let's see this paper clips. There we go. Okay, I fold out on the last, you know, cover page of this signature. I have put a little piece here that says "Live the Good Life." That was from the retro uh, scrapbook kit, you know, scrapbook paper kit that I used in here. Uh, that was a kit I had bought it Tuesday morning, so that was really cool to use that. Uh, this is the back or last signature, the fourth signature, pink rick rack there. Got a fold out with a drilling card here. It says hello there, and it's a very retro looking card. And it matches this, see? <laughs> the lady on the phone, and there she is again. Hello, darling, she says. <laughs> very mid-century modern. Uh, this is from a chicken cookbook. It's really cool. It has these little cartoons in it. This one says, Mabel, chicken gets tired of working the chicken shift. Mabel, chicken gets... <laughs> anyway, she's punching her ticket there. Her time card, so that was cute. And then just some more writing papers and stationery, cookbook pages, the gingham paper. Uh, this is from the Reader's Digest. This is a pet milk ad. So cool. Over here, a story about butterflies, a life full of butterflies, and there's a pretty butterfly there. Uh, this is the middle of the sec this last signature. Uh, this is where I put the second charm in this journal. Uh, both the journals I put a charm, a cookbook related charm in the first signature and the fourth signature. And this little charm is actually a cookbook. So it's very cute. And I thought that was awesome. And then there's a little button there. Some pink rick rack. Here's the other side of that page. And this is the, you know, it's a butterfly story. So here's a bunch of butterflies over on this page. And the advertisement on the back of this one is the Vanish. So that's, look at this lady. She's uh, very stylish there cleaning her bathroom. So funny. <laughs> and then we have a pretty cookbook. From this cookbook, pretty page. That, that, that Just like every page in this cookbook was so cute. So the back half of the second signature. Here's the little coast paper coaster pocket here. And two little drilling cards and a tag. And then here's the back of the last signature with the pink rick rack. The little uh, recipe card pocket on the back cover here. You can see the pretty paper. So I love that paper. Um, this is another little bag. The, this is a bigger one, as you can see, long, narrow one. With a, this one has a flashcard, uh, kind of a journaling card, or it could be a bookmark, but it's got this pretty fruit kind of ribbon decorating it with a little, uh, this was a punch out or a sticker. 
and I put a little word there it says yummy and then on the back some like craft colored paper or it was almost like it was like thick paper or thin cardstock anyway I put a piece on the back for writing and then here's the candy label on this one it says from the kitchen of so this just went in here and then I had another one of my little mason jars right there so cute so that is the journal so again I'm like I said last night I'm going to include which I uh, still have to get together the goodie packets but I'm going to of course I want the I like people I like to know that and hope that people enjoy my journals even more than I enjoy making them you know I just love and totally enjoy making them I just love making them and I love to see how they turn out turn out you know and then so I want the people to get my journals that you know for them to have even more fun like I said so I'm going to include some of these book pages so that you know whoever gets them can have fun fussy cutting and making you know drawing cards and tags and things or whatever decorating so um that's it for tonight thank you for watching i'm getting ready to start my design team project for shabby debbie shabby debbie doodah so look for that video next and just hit that subscribe and the bell so you'll be notified of that video thanks so much everybody and happy crafting see you next time